Hibiscus scientific name is Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Hibiscus rosa sinensis. You know how to write the scientific name. Hibiscus H capital rosa sinensis are small and underlying individually. Right. It is commonly called as China rose in English or shoe flower. China rose or shoe flower. In Gujarati it is called as Jasud. Okay. This flower is offered to Lord Ganesha. Right, that you already know. Now, I will explain first the number of holes that this flower has. Okay, from outside to inside, then dissect it, then put it here and then we will label it. Okay. So, I will start from the this end, okay, the rear end. This part is the stalk of the flower. Okay, the stalk of the flower is also called as pedicel. What is that called? Pedicel. pedicel. So there are flowers with the stalk and without the stalk also. Okay. So the flower with the stalk is called as a pedicellate flower. What is it called? Pedicellate flower. So this flower is a pedicellate flower. Pedicellate flower. Okay. Now this part, if you can see here, is an external wall, outermost wall of the flower. So this flower has one, two, three, four, and five. Androsium and gynosium, it's a bisexual flower. So five walls. Most flowers will have four walls. This one has five. So this outermost wall is called as epicalyx. What is that called? Epicalyx. You must have heard about calyx. Yes. So this is epicalyx. Epi is outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now epicalyx is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Okay. Each unit is called as a bracteole. What is that called? Bracteole. Bracteole. So these bracteoles they make what? Outer. Uh, epicalyx. They make epicalyx. Okay, one unit is called as bracteole. Right. Now, this part, green part, what you can see is the calyx. Okay, and calyx in this case is fused together like a jug. Okay, like this. All of these units are fused together like this. Like a jug, it forms like a jug. Okay, so when they are fused together, Okay, most of the part is fused together. If you can see, only this part is independent. One fourth part, three fourth part is fused. So in this case, we call it as gamosepalus. Okay, sepals fuse together. Gamo is marriage. Okay, in marriage, souls they fuse together, right? So, gamo is fusion. What is fused together? Sepals. sepals. So we say gamosepalus. <coughs> right, so this flower contains gamosepalus. Sepal, arrangement of sepal is gamosepalus, right? Then likewise, petals are free. They are not fused together. Okay, so when something is free, we use the word poly. So poly petalus. Petals are free. So poly petalus. If sepals were free, polysepalus. Okay, so gamosepalus, polysepalus. For free, like for free if if this was fused together like a jug, then gamo petalus. Now it is free, so it is polypetalus. Right, so gamo sepalus, polysepalus. Gamo petalus, polypetalus. Right. We'll first remove the outermost wall, then I go inside. Okay. To remove the outermost wall, I'll need this one. It is not pluckers. Pluckers are used to pluck the eyebrows. Okay, girls know this, right? This is called as forceps. What is that called? Forceps. Okay. These are called as office pins. Tanchani is office pin. Okay. So I want you to take your forceps and remove this when you have your turn. Okay. So I'll remove all of these. This flower at the bottom can get very sticky. Okay, because of the nectar or whatever fluid present. I'll keep them on the side because I have to, you know, puncture them and put it on one side, okay, arrange them in the particular order, right. So first comes epicalyx, then calyx, then corolla, androsium, gynosium, okay, like that. Now, to remove this part, I'll have to cut it, okay, as if it is appearing like a jug. So what I'll do is I'll use this pin. If in case you don't have this pin, it's okay, you can use the office pin, okay. So Watch one line, okay, which meets here the center, and you go like this, okay. You cut it like this, like a cutter, like a cutter, yes. 
so you go like this horizontal line vertical line like this okay now i'll have to remove it like this so most people what they do is they use the hand and pluck it off like this okay we have to use this one okay if you cut it like this okay slowly don't prick it like that otherwise this there is an ore here it will get damaged okay so you go very slow horizontal lines cut it like this okay put an incision here like this that is white part there is ore yes i show you so when it gets you know those incisions it will be easy for me to remove it like this can you see so if you can see now it is all fused together can you see it is fused together so it is gamma separate okay so i keep it like this and then pin it right now first wall second wall now we are going to the third wall this is corolla so i'll take one petal corolla this one is corolla petals so i'll take one petal like this and take it off the whole petal like this another one and so on when i come to the last petal be careful because here is where the ovary is so this much portion is where the ovary is hidden inside here is the ovary is hidden inside okay now just before we go to the ovary where the pedicel ends here this part is going to receive all the floral words okay so this part this one is called as a receptacle receives floral words or it is also called as thalamus okay now i'll cut this portion here in male and female are both together okay fused together so this part zygote no no it is not zygote it's a bisexual flower okay so if you can see this one this part those pink dark pink dots can you see yes. that is stigma of the flower and if you count the stigmas there are 1 2 3 4 5 stigmas in hibiscus flower there will be always five stigmas okay always five so five stigmas so it's called as a pentacarpellary flower because there are five carpels okay i'll come to what pentacarpellary is right now i need to separate this is female and this is male if you can see these are all anthers and these are all filaments okay so i need to separate male and female from this flower so what i'll do is i'll put a small cut here i'll not penetrate on to the ovary i'll go by side okay i'll put a small cut here and go to the side like this can you see yes. and then i'll go like this can you see so i've removed one part which is a male part from the female part okay i'll show you in other parts as well now if you can see inside this one is the ovary can you see this part this is the ovary okay this this thing here is an ovary yes the yellow one now it is much more prominent like a seed can you see so that is the ovary okay and the thread attached to that is style so stigma is here then you have style and then you have ovary right now this will be delicate and it could be you know that you might break at the first attempt it's okay so when you are dissecting it should not break so how i'll show you how not to break it okay so i'll go like this i'll hold it like this okay i'll pierce it here okay i'll keep one finger at the back so that it supports like this can you see so it supports and it will won't won't break probably if it breaks it's okay for the first time or not a problem so what breaks over the style the size i okay now because it is very sticky this flower it sticks to it and it might break it so i will do it like this okay put it on the platform here and chop it like this can you see it is getting removed from there very delicate it is so you have to be very careful if you break it your points will be lost so if there is a dissection of 10 marks by marks one so 
this male flower male part is separated from the female part change some part left i'll remove that part first sir what it is which is the male part and which is female male part is this Okay, so I'll put it like this. Okay, this is epicalyx, this is corolla, this is androsium. This is gynosium. Okay, and this is gynosium. Okay, gynosium consists of stigma. this stigma, style, and ovary. Stigma, style, and ovary together it is called as pistil. Sir, stigma is pistil female. Pistil or carpel. Okay, so many pistils and many carpels form gynosium. Sir, stigma. Wait, is, uh, wait, 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 wait. This is anther. This is filament. So anther and filament forms stamen. So many stamens they get together to form androsium. Okay. So is this flower a staminate flower? Yes. Yes. Is this flower a pistillate flower? Yes. Is this flower a bisexual flower? Yes. Is this flower a gamosepalous flower? Yes. Is this flower a polypetalous flower? Yes. Yes. You got all these terms, right? Now, when these uh, anthers they form a single tube. Okay, they form a single tube. As you have seen, I have dissected this tube and brought this from inside. Okay, so it forms a single staminal tube. Okay, like this. In this condition, so this is male part now, and this is female part. This condition is called as monodelphus. Mono is single. When so many anthers they get together to form a single staminal tube. It is called as monodelphus. If it forms two, it is called as didelphus. It is from many. It is called as polydelphus. Right. We don't want to bother right now. We will continue learning later. Now I will have, have to put them in the right order. Okay. So first, epicalyx. Now arranging them in the form of the floral whorl, it is going to be difficult. So I'll show you like this. It can be like this. I take one like this. The one like this. Okay, I'll slightly move this pin so that it gives me the floral appearance. Second wall is the what is this called? Gamostepala. What wall is this called? Second wall. No, no, name of the wall. Name. Calyx. Is it? Apicalyx, calyx. Then comes corolla. Next will be corolla. For the corolla, I'll do the Suidaga method. Okay, like this. You know not this, or you don't know. You don't see you know. So you start stitching. You're done. Okay. Now you put it like this here. Okay, as if it looks like a flower. Right, the arrangement. Then you will be of course labeling all these. Then the androsium. I have different methods of putting the pins. I will keep it like this. Okay, so I won't puncture any part. Can you see? Like this. Cross. And here when I come, I will in between those cartels so that I can count them. Done. Now I will have to label them. So I label bracteole, name of the wall, epicalyx, sepal, name of the wall, epicalyx, petals, corolla, anther, filament, stamen, and then the whole wall is androsium, niche. Here, stigma, style, ovary, pedicel. This much. Pistil or carpel. 
Okay, together. Dinosia. This your pedicel. Right. Now you have to do this much. Label. Write your name below. Okay. And your parts of flower. Sir, label with pencil. Name of the flower. Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Click a picture and send to me on my mail ID.